Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna give you guys a full on garden tour. It's been quite a while since I've showed you guys the garden. I think it's been about three weeks. So there's quite a bit to show you. So just far warning, this video might be a little bit longer than normal. I'm sure you can see behind me that I have some crazy growth going on, especially with these cucumbers here. Last time I showed you guys the cucumbers, they were maybe a foot tall. And now if I stand up, they are taller than I am, which is absolutely crazy. I wanna go ahead and show you guys the arch though, because this trellis is becoming one of my favorite parts of the garden. And there's also a few cucumbers that I need to show you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've done some research and I can't really find an answer. Some people prune, some people do not prune their cucumbers. So since I love me some wild and crazy foliage, I am not going to prune my cucumbers this year. If something bad happens, I will prune next year, but you cannot tell me that once this is completely full, it won't be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. So let's go ahead and show you some of the cucumbers I actually have a bigger one over here, which it really isn't big, but this is big for the start because they just started to produce cucumbers maybe about like a week ago or so. There's one there, and then if we go over here, there are a ton, but I think, yep, my bigger one is right here. So we will start over here first. I have some sunflowers down here, and then I also have another cayenne plant that's kind of hanging on. Then I have my lavender. It finally decided it was going to bloom. I have one here and then I have one down here as well. And ever since these decided to bloom, we've had a lot more bees. So this is something I really wanted to show you guys. This is the same variety of plant planted at the same time. This one over here was the one that was super waterlogged. I didn't think I was going to be able to save, I think back in April. And the only difference between these two is I did not prune this one. And I pruned this one very heavily. And you can see that this one looks very, very stressed. After doing more research, I think this is my mistake. So I have always had beefsteak tomatoes prior. And this year I did all Romas because I wanted a paste variety to be able to can. And I've always heavily pruned my tomatoes. Well, with determinate tomatoes, you're actually not supposed to prune as heavily, which I now know. And you can clearly see this one is alive and thriving. There's a million flowers on it. We're starting to get some fruit on it. This one was a little bit later to produce fruit just because of how stressed out it was in the beginning. But this one is actually ripening our first fruits, which they should be done in just a few days. They look absolutely beautiful, even though the plant looks really stressed out. There is some new foliage going on, so I'll be interested to see what this plant does. Then we just have some basil, another tomato plant, which this one was another one of my waterlogged plants. And you can clearly see these two look amazing compared to some of the other ones. And all of these were planted at the exact same time, which I find absolutely crazy. We have some more lavender, which is just so beautiful. And then we have some more tomatoes ripening, which this plant also looks just as stressed out. There is some new foliage on this one as well, but hey, it's giving me fruit and the fruit looks beautiful, so I can't complain. So right beside me here, we have my insect netted hoop house. In my last video, I told you guys that vine borer completely took out my zucchini, which is very unfortunate. I did go ahead and plant some more in here. I'm pretty sure we just got the insect netting up a little too late because my zucchini was already blooming before we could get it up because it was late in the mail, but we still have plenty of time. I still have about 100 days until my frost date. Hopefully, we'll still get a good zucchini harvest. And right beside the hoop house, we have all this beautiful sage and thyme and some more sage. So back through the trellis, we will start with my first garden bed. So we have some more tomatoes over here that I started about, say I brought these outside maybe three or four weeks ago and they're really starting to go. So with all those mistakes I made on the first ones, I'm really interested to see how my second set goes. Then I just have a bell pepper because I planted more sunflowers and they still weren't doing well, unfortunately. Then if we go over here, we have all of my basil. We have these three basil plants right here, which I just gave them a really good haircut last night and dried some more basil. They were getting quite full. Then I have a bean plant here and a bean plant here. I just figured that there really wasn't much 
much going on in these two spaces and a bean plant could handle it. I have some garlic chives and then we also have my jalapeno plant which is starting to produce these little babies. And then all of these are actually cayenne peppers. I love to make my own chili pepper flakes. They are absolutely amazing over just traditional ones you can buy at the store. So much more flavor. Last time I showed you guys this plant there was only three and now there's like 20 plus. These are all starting to produce which is really exciting. So now we have my bell pepper bed. I believe I have about 24 bell pepper plants throughout the garden now. We clearly love bell peppers. They are starting to produce their fruits, which is really exciting. I am going to wait until these fully ripen to a red color though, because my husband actually doesn't like them when they're green. The plant behind me though has actually been struggling for some reason. All of these other ones have been doing absolutely amazing, especially after I've been doing the banana peel fertilizer that I showed you guys. It has been amazing for the peppers, no doubt, but there is one pepper that I need to show you. So on the opposite side here, Unfortunately, we have one that has sunspot. The sunspot is growing, and I don't know if I'll be able to fully save this before it ripens to red, but we will see. We do have all these cute little babies growing though. So back to some beautiful, crazy foliage. This is my green bean bed. You can see it's just going crazy. This is the second round that I planted and they're catching up to the first round really, really fast. This first round, I've already gotten a few pounds of green beans off. There are a few more going, but I'm noticing that flowers are really starting to dimmer. So I'm almost wondering if this part of the bed will be coming to a close sooner than later. I think I probably still have a good few weeks on it though. This one should start producing any day though. I have eight more tomato plants here behind me and unfortunately this year has not been my best producing tomato gear yet. I just don't know what's really going on. I don't know if it's the seed company I went with, if I was over watering, or if there just isn't enough nutrients, or if there's not enough pollinators. But I will say I went ahead I took an electric toothbrush to all of my tomatoes about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago now. And if you don't know, tomatoes can actually be self-pollinating as long as their pollen kind of shakes. So an electric toothbrush will actually stimulate what a bee does to the flower. So I did all that and I have been noticing some more fruits. So I'm thinking that could have been part of the problem. I have been noticing some more pollinators as of the last few weeks though, especially now that the lavender has bloomed. So hopefully we will see a turnaround in the second half of the year. I do have another tomato though starting to ripen, which is again, just so exciting to see. So one of the last things I wanna show you guys today is the area we are going to till for the fall garden. If you didn't watch my last video, you may not know, but we have a tree that just decided it wanted to die and it was directly over our main power line here. And it's actually still over most of the garden this way. They only did as much as they could when it came to the power line, but we still have to get this out by the end of summer. So we're going to till the length of these three beds and then probably about 10 feet across so it'll give us quite a bit more of growing space back here, which will be perfect for the fall garden. But next spring, it will also add even more growing space to what I already currently have, which I'm actually really excited about. And I just have to show you guys, look how beautiful, wild, and crazy these sunflowers have gotten. I hope you guys enjoyed today's garden tour. If you did and would like to support my channel, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, or hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for joining today. I will see you all next time. Bye.